What's up, you guys? So today is a really dope day. I was inspired lately to do some, you know, different sort of style of videos. And today on Model Kit Maya, we are going to be checking out one of my local shops. They have a big yet small kind of, I think it's pretty big, but a decent, really decent size of model kits at my local hobby shop and hopefully we could pick something up i got a little uh list of things a little grail list of varying values hoping hoping to get something on that but if not it's all good but let's go check it out appreciate you guys All right, what's up guys? So we about to head into my local shop. It is called Phil's Hobby Shop. And we gonna check out some Gundam kits, see what they have. I'm ready. I hope y'all ready. Scrooge, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, we ready. So, like I said, 
That place was super dope for what it is. It's the only hobby store in my town as far as selling model kits that are any like Star Wars, Dragon Ball Z, Gundam, anything that's kind of up my alley. I know there's a couple others that sell mostly just like cars and stuff like that. Things I'm not really quite into yet. I do want to check out Lego cars in the future. But with that being said, I was able to pick up something somewhat on my list, but uh, let's go ahead and check that out now. The MSM-04 Act Guy. This is a high grade and this only costs about 17 bucks. This is a Gundam on kind of my list to pick up. This is a uh, Gundam that I I've been searching for in the master grade category actually but uh, whenever I did see it right so it was it had a different kind of look, different looking box and I didn't know it was the the right act guy I wanted because on the box it has a different color and it kind of threw me off well needless to say that was the master grade act guy that I had wanted and it is going for the 70s and 80s right now so i'm hoping that they'll do a drop again somewhere some stores if you guys see that anywhere please let your boy know the master grade act guy this is the high grade and it is inspired for me to get these older gundams from the old school ps1 game that i uh, have shown footage of and you know that i always talk about and this is actually one of the Gundams on there. And even in the show, it's, it's not a Gundam you would think that could put up a good fight or do any like anything really big. But it is a crafty, you know, very... Uh, the Gundam itself is very intricate because it uses all its advances. It can roll up in a ball, it slides. As you can tell by this picture in, in the video, it has the claws as a gun. So it actually could do quite a few things. I actually like this gun that was actually pretty solid. And with that being said, even though I got it picked up, let's just, I hope, maybe, just maybe, we can get this built right now. See, that was pretty easy. Yeah, I like this. This is actually really solid. So I like to give it the old hand test. I am in the six foot up range and my hand is a pretty decent size. So most master grades are about the size of my hand or bigger. And this is right below that. So I would say that this is maybe a little bit taller than most Funko Pops that I get or um, it's maybe in the action figure range if you're into some of the NECAs and stuff like that. So it's a it's a pretty decent size. I, I love this thing. I really want to get it in the master grade, but let's go ahead and put it on the spinny and check this thing out before we check out all the functions of it. This thing is actually pretty cold. It looks really chic. Um, I know it may look brown, but it should represent a really dark tone, like burgundy or maybe a really like maroonish maybe, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a dark burgundy color. This, this build actually took me maybe an hour and a half or so. It only had about four runs or runners on it so it wasn't it wasn't too bad of a project that didn't take that long at all especially compared to a lot of the Verkaz and other masquerades and even perfect rates out there so it was definitely a pretty cool Gundam I like the ch the, the chest piece on this and the backpack I love how unique this thing looks it is so clean to me and I will be showing you a couple different hands actually, but this one has a uh, full claws. And then the other hand you can kind of see maybe like the claws 
could uh, pop out or be retractable or something like they're barely peeking through. This is definitely a cool thing. Uh, I'm, blo I'm blown away because I, I give the high grades a lot of crap because they're smaller and sometimes they don't give quite enough detail, but this is actually perfect and especially for this character. So with that being said, let's just roll right into this functions clip. Uh, like I was talking about earlier, we can start off with the hands. You can actually replace in, uh, and this is kind of what I love about Gundams, they've been doing it forever. And I guess uh, gives me a thought of the Nindroids, if you guys have ever heard of, of those. You can actually change the hands on these to the claws, the, the retractable claws, and then just kind of like these little stud, like rounded off pieces. And those are actually all pretty cool. The, the functions on the legs on these though, are insane like i could literally take his leg and do a whole 360 with it in its hip it doesn't pop out i love that uh with this gundam once i put something together other than one piece i'll get to later once i put an arm in or a claw or anything they all seem to stay pretty well now they they will uh feel like they, they could pull off easily but once again, that's uh, actually pretty solvable. I heard if you dip some of the ends or pieces that snap together that won't hold in in some sort of uh, like a gloss or a um, uh, like I think it was like the final coat with like the nail polish sort of thing maybe, and it'll it'll give it a firmer kind of tip to snap together. So you don't actually really have that problem. With this one, the the legs all move, the arms all move in a 360. They were actually only two pieces put together. Now, the build was actually different. The build were maybe for the bicep sort of area and the actual hand and wrist joint was maybe about 10 pieces, maybe 12 put together for both arms. And that was really dope. The chest is actually two pieces and then the gray piece goes on top as a finish. The the back of it has the, the jetpack and the jetpack uh, parts do not actually move. They're actually pretty firm, but they do flip up and down, you know, you know, like they can't, they don't necessarily move solo, which I actually have some Gundams where you can move one jetpack on the left or the right any sort of way. But uh, it, that was a pretty quick uh, build for that piece as well. And onto the head, that was actually a little bit, maybe the most complex out of everything. So on the head, you kind of had it attached to the neck, which was its own piece. Uh, maybe it was about four pieces there putting that together. And the head itself has a lower base and then you would then put the triangle mouthpiece, which I actually do not like. I'm taking it off now. It, it actually comes off and goes on really easily. And I don't like that necessarily. I like that it goes on easy. I do not like that it comes off easy. So I don't know. It's, it's a little, little hit or miss for me. It's just something that if you bump it, could could lose a piece that makes me nervous because it is kind of smaller compared to every other piece on here and then you had put the the like the literal cranium inside together the little pink uh dot is a sticker and that is actually just attached right pretty much at the end to a small little circular joint and then on top of uh, the cranium you have a see-through finish that you can guys kind of see through that slit and then you just put the top halves on and and there you go and all together you have the at guy it is all ready to go i decided to stick with the claw hands they're actually movable inside and out you can make them completely open like uh maybe like a retractable claw like in batman or something and then they can close all the way to like they're pinching a grain of salt. 
which is the hopes and dreams of Dark Sage wishing JoJo was adult anime. He doesn't watch these anyway, so don't worry about that. You guys, I'm really happy with this model kit. MSM at guy, straight old school. I really hope to pick up the master grade of this. I'm really proud of this uh, this build. These high grades have been impressing me a lot lately, especially with the older style Gundams that I'm more accustomed to and that I'm more on a hunt for. Not mad at it. I wonder if they have a real grade at guy. I maybe have to check that out because the real grades stand maybe a little bit taller than this and have the detail of a master grade, which would be really cool. So I hope to check these out soon. Let me know how you guys feel about the quick little, you know, toy hunt, model kit hunt. Uh, I enjoy doing those, I do them anyway. So this time I decided to show you what's in my little local hood, neighborhood that is. And, uh, I can't wait to do more of these videos. I love these kits, you guys. Thank you so much. Let me know if you guys have been getting any kits lately, not just the Gundam. There's so many I've found out lately. Uh, there's Metabot Gundams or Gunpla kits out there. If you're not sure what Metabots is, that is an older anime from late 90s, early 2000s. So a lot of kits out there, DBZ, Digimon, a lot of stuff. Go check it out. Appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments what's up and if you guys are going to be divulging in any of these kits in the future. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking time.